Hi everybody, I decided to try to do a video on my Chromebook. Uh, it's a laptop that someone gave me um, instead of using my tablet, so hopefully the quality of this picture will be okay. Um, hi to all my subscribers and those who are new to my channel, thank you for coming. Uh, to those who haven't subscribed yet, go check out my videos and don't forget to hit the like button if there's something that you find that you enjoy. Um, you'll see I have a wide variety of videos on my channel. Um, there's an intro to who I am, and then there's some information about my dogs when it snowed last year, this past winter. Um, for those of you who know me, know that I have a pug named Pugsley and a rat terrier named Wednesday. She's eight and he's seven, and pugs are my life, as well as my rat terrier. And, um... I have a lot of videos about spiritual stuff, um, about the dead, about uh, communicating with the other side, about astrology, all kinds of things to help anybody out there who might be an empath, medium, introvert, intuitive, etc. So go check out my videos. Let me know. Leave comments. Make sure you hit like if you like it. And if you want to share my channel, feel free to. And I thank you for coming. So. I wanted to do a video here. I have a brief video about dogs and allergies that I posted last week. And I follow a Facebook page for pugs that I thoroughly enjoy. And I really, really love all the people that go on the page. And um, the only thing I don't like about some of the pug uh, pages, not this particular pug page, but some of them is the breeders. Um, and that's a personal choice of my own. I refuse to ever uh, purchase a dog. Um, I'm highly against it. Um, if that's what you choose to do, that's fine. However, rescue is what my goal is and um, adopt. Don't shop because um, I have personal reasons. One being that for those of you who don't know, my Wednesday was a rescue from a puppy mill that they confiscated, I think, 80 dogs, maybe 70 and then they went back a month later, maybe two months later again, and they had hidden dogs the first time. So anyway, she came from that situation and has had lots of health issues and uh, behavioral issues and different things. But I love her to death and I would never change her. And so a year, nine months later to a year later, I got Pugsley. It was just a fluke situation of some people on Craigslist. And I know people say never to buy dogs off Craigslist, but it's the best thing I ever did. And he saved me and I saved him. And he's an amazing dog, but he was from a backyard breeder. And uh, what backyard breeders are very similar to puppy mills where they breed over brothers, sisters, uh, mothers, fathers with each other. And um, when you do that for a long period of time, sometimes you have different health issues. So... Um, and he was highly abused by a man and a child. So um, he had a lot of issues when I first got him. And so he is definitely my Velcro pug. And I love him immensely. And so that is the purpose for this video tonight. Because I feel that I've been through so many struggles in the last four years. Regarding my own health and my Pugsley's health. That I see many posts on this Facebook page uh, for Pugs. That I felt that I needed to make a video to help all of you who ask me how I helped Pugsley with his yeast problem, his double ear infections all the time, his constant scratching, his scabs, his upset stomach, um, all kinds of problems, his overweight, him being overweight, and his allergies. Because he used to get reverse sneezes and then he used to get the soft palate here where he'll eat fast and then choke. So... I'm going to go through some processes, and if there's something I missed or something you want to know, just leave a comment below, and I'll be happy to do another video. I'm just kind of going off the top of my head things that I've seen on the page recently. So first off, my process started when about four years ago, actually five years ago, I quit smoking. And then within six months, my health deteriorated. And I didn't understand why. Well, I became high. So, so one of the things you'll find out if you're you quit smoking is that sometimes uh, people don't realize this because doctors don't know it. When you quit smoking because of all the things that are in the nicotine, and I'm not talking about natural nicotine or nat natural tobacco, I'm talking about the kind that you buy. Um, a lot of people get 
what is it called? High, um, it's a form of diabetes. It's not the diabetes where I always get them confused. It's not the diabetes where you have to shoot insulin. It's the kind where your sugar crashes and you have no sugar in your body. That's what ended up happening to me. And I ended up through research finding out that I was having this issue due to quitting smoking. So I had to gradually start making sure I had sugar in my uh, breakfast shakes and different things like that. So in that process, I figured out that my body started breaking down and I found out that I was gluten intolerant, soy intolerant, as well as lactose, all three within a year's time. So first I eliminated the gluten and this was after tons of research. I have rheumatoid arthritis and osteoporosis, uh, osteoarthritis, sorry, in my jaw and my teeth and my mouth. So uh, I was working all the time and I would come home and I could barely walk. I'd sit down for five minutes and then all of a sudden I would be so stiff. I thought I was going to need a wheelchair by the time I was 50. So I decided to make a change. So that's when my research started. So I could talk about my own self and how it led to my dogs, but I want to get to the point of pugs and allergies and things that the vet tells you and other people tell you that may not work for your pug because they didn't work for my pug. And I found out the hard way. And I felt like a really horrible pug mom when I found out. So Pugsley started with the allergies at about two years old. Now I live in Louisiana, so there's a lot of airborne allergies, trees, grass, pollen, you know, the same old, same old, right? We get longer summers and it's very, very hot and humid, which is not good for pugs. So not only do you have to make sure he's hi hydrated and he's drinking tons of water, but you also have to make sure he's eating the right foods. So he started to scratch a lot. So what did the vet tell me? Oh, well, it's very prone to fleas here, very prone to fleas here. So they gave me a flea chew to give him every month. So I would do that and then he'd be okay for a while, but then it would start up again. So then it would start up again. So then he said, well, maybe it's the food. So maybe you should try no wheat. So then we tried the food. Now, mind you, allergy testing for vets is extremely expensive. I am not a rich person. I live literally paycheck to paycheck. I budget my money. I'm a single person. And my dogs are my life. They're my children. And I could not afford the allergy testing that they send you for, which I know a lot of you can't. So I can teach you if you need to know how to figure out if your dog is allergic to something. It's the same way you teach yourself. You take it out of your food plan. But remember, stuff stays in your system for long periods of time. So for me, what I would do for allergies is, or with the gluten thing is I would take it out of my diet for a while and then gradually add it back in and then you'll immediately know if that's going to affect you. That's what you can do for your pug. My experience has been that I went through two years almost of going through different foods that never ever worked for Pugsley. I was at my wits end. I would lay here at night in bed because he loves to snuggle at night. And he would wake me up. He was scratching and biting his feet, scratching his ears. He was scabs under his armpits, scabs on his belly, scabs on his knees. I mean, they would just bleed. And I was so afraid that he would get an infection because a lot of dogs do. I would bring him to the vet to have them check. And then I would do the allergy shot at the vet because Benadryl, if you don't know, is good for an emergency purpose only, but it's not good to give to your dog all the time. In my many, many years of research, it causes weakness around their heart. Just FYI. Anyways, so I would give him the allergy shot and, and then I would feel guilty, but I just didn't want him to suffer anymore and I couldn't figure out <coughs> what it was that was bothering him. So I'm going to tell you without all the background right now is it's a fad right now telling people not to eat the no wheat. Uh, to eat the no wheat dog food. Yes. Gluten and wheat are the same thing. Wheat is basically what happens is they now in the past 20 years, they chemically populate. <clears throat> it's a long scientific process where they want to make more wheat. So what they do is they chemically alter it. So what you're really intolerant to is the way they alter it and what's in it. Not necessarily the genuine wheat, if it was genuine wheat. Dogs have the same problem. They can't break it down. So I decided to go gluten-free for Pugsley to see if it would have the same effect as me. And in the process, I decided to eliminate soy as well. 
Well, let me tell you something. I'm going to tell you most of the no wheat foods that are out there are not going to help your pug if he has yeast issues. Yeast issues are when they get that stinky smell. It's, it's hard to describe, but it's there's nothing else that smells like it. And their ears get infected constantly and their eyes run. That's yeast. The worst thing you can give, and I'm going to name several things that you're going to be shocked. But the worst thing you can do for a dog with yeast, and I've done it, is give them sweet potatoes, um, anything with high fructose corn syrup or sugar in it, any of the foods that have sugar in it. And if you look at an all, all the no wheat foods, most of them have sweet potato or high fructose corn syrup. And I'm going to tell you something. They label it as different things. So you have to research under Google or Yahoo the different names for sugar, especially in dog's food. I've done tons of research. On top of that, not only is wheat, I mean, I'm sorry, sweet potato, the worst thing you can give if a dog has a yeast problem. I was giving him oatmeal baths, thinking that they were going to help. Let me just tell you something. When, when your dog gets yeast, they tell you that the vet to um, do no wheat. They tell you to um, give them frequent baths, like once a day, once every other day. Uh, oatmeal baths, and then something else I can't remember off the top of my head. Maybe it'll come to me. Oatmeal baths are the worst thing you can give your pug if it has a yeast problem. The oatmeal is feeding the yeast in the fur. Oatmeal has sugar. Oatmeal is the worst. I'm just telling you from experience. Sweet potatoes as well. I mean, my pug's ears were so bad that you would clean them with the wipes and they would be black. That's how bad they were. I'd have to get antibiotics and squeeze them in his ears. And his ears, he'd cry and cry and cry. I'm sorry, as a pug mom, it broke my heart. And I was so frustrated. For a year, I did research on all kinds of things. So now I'm going to tell you several things that have helped me in my process of saving my pug from allergies. So I eliminated the sweet potatoes in the no wheat food. I mean, I've tried seven different foods including the really, really high-priced ones that I couldn't afford at the vet to the ones at the pet store. And nothing worked. Nothing. Until I started doing more research on foods. And I would YouTube and YouTube. And I found an amazing person's channel, two people's channel, about biologically accurate raw food plan for dogs. And, you know, I know raw food sounds like, oh, God, I don't want to give my pet raw food. And, you know, I was the same way. I'm going to tell you right now, I was freaked out about the the premise of giving him raw meat, raw chicken, raw hamburger. Like I was freaked out by this. So Chad, who has this channel, who's amazing. And I will post his channel. I posted it on my other allergy dog video. <clears throat> I'll post his channel below. He was amazing. He's a friend of mine. I send him messages. I asked him a ton of questions. He's very, very helpful and helped me tremendously. And watching his channel with his dogs eating the raw I don't go to the extremes that he does because I don't have big dogs and I don't have an outside to feed them the raw food. So Pugsley, I will give the chicken, but I'll give it to him outside when it's really nice outside where he could chew it. As well as Wednesday, because of her teeth problems from being in a puppy mill, she has very, very bad teeth. I mean, like really bad teeth. They want to charge me like upwards of $3,000. And so I'm doing research right now. So any of you who have dogs with teeth and gum problems... I'll probably do a video on that in the next six months because I'm trying several holistic things to help her with her mouth. Anyways, so Pugsley, I'll feed the chicken outside. Um, and I started, I said, you know what, what the hell, what do I have to lose? What do I have to lose? I'm going to write down some things to feed. I'm going to look at the portions of meat. Uh, you have to give organs, right? So you have to give meat, organs, you can give vegetables. Pugs, though, if you look at short snout dogs, if you do the research on the biologically raw, accurate food, most pugs don't need as many vegetables as other dogs. And obviously you don't want to give them sweet potatoes and you don't want to give them something with high sugar content because of the yeast. So I did a ton of research on foods as well as for my rat terrier. Now, the problem with that is I didn't really pay attention as much to Wednesday, my rat terrier's food intake. I was giving her the same amounts that I was giving her before, and she has gained a lot of weight, probably about four pounds, five pounds, which is big for her because she's only a 13-pound dog. So she's been really, really heavy lately. So I'm trying to cut down her food intake. So just be careful to make sure you read 
on any of the biologically raw, accurate uh, food plans that you give them the right portion for the size of your dog. That's very important. Make sure you get a scale and weigh it and all that. What I do is on Sundays, I get all my food together for my dogs and I sort it. And I know it sounds like a lot of work, but it's so much easier than doing it every night when you get home from work. And it's not any more, actually, it's less expensive than buying the dry food that you were buying all that time. I know it's surprising, but you can find food at the grocery store and sales, like at Costco's and Sam's of meat, where you can use it for your dogs. And so I'm actually this year going to save up, um, um, I'm going to start giving readings again. And any money that I get from the readings or any donations that people give me um, for doing astrology readings on this page, on this uh, YouTube channel, I'm going to actually try to buy myself just a little freezer for out in the shed where I can keep the food in there so that I can, you know, store it or whatever and, and be able to get sales and stuff. Because what I do is on Sundays, like I went grocery shopping today, usually I go Sunday mornings, but it's so hot here and I don't have AC in my car, so um, it's broken. So what I do is on Sundays, I make containers. I go and buy cheap containers at the dollar store and I, I have names of them and I do Wednesday, Pugsley, Wednesday, Pugsley, Wednesday, Pugsley. So every day I feed them twice a day. And I'll give them a snack in between. Like if I come home at lunch, if they gave them a big breakfast, I'll give them a little egg for a snack or a piece of banana, something as a snack. But I don't give them three big meals anymore. So if I can help one person out there with their pug, I hope I can. So I'm going to end this video at 17 minutes, but I'm going to come back for part two so that I can share some of the food that I give. I started giving him and how I started seeing different things and my out what happened after I did this. So I'll be right back.